right, here we go. We have a new kit here. And this kit I designed from Gaffrey Art Material to kind of give, you know, an opportunity for people to get some paint materials in their hand. A lot of people are asking about, you know, how to use this paint. And so this is a kind of a generalized kit here that we've designed for people to get their hands on a knife and work with this texture paint. However, with all paintings, I always have to start with a brush and prime the wood panel here. So we'll, once we get that, you know, taken care of, we'll start working the textures. So basically this kit has, as I'm pouring in there, the raw umber, a little Hansa yellow. We also have a little bit of pyrol red and thalo blue. With all those colors, I can make a lot of colors. I pretty much work with a limited uh, palette of colors and, and mix a lot of my colors as I go. But basically this uh, picture here is gonna be a warm, toned uh, lakescape with you know trees and a little bit of water and this is just generally to give you an idea how to work with the knife and, and everything so so right now I'm just bringing in a little bit of blue to kind of balance out the warmth of the paint and it's still mixed with a little bit of the yellow there still gonna have a little bit of warmth to it but you know it's just balancing out cool cool tones and warm tones and you know I'm gonna work my way from top down and obviously working my way down the sky and then, you know, so. With our bags here, we designed these bags so you can work right out of the bag onto the palette or the paint in itself. And we always kind of twist it to keep it really tight there. And you can see it's just, what I like about these bags is you can pipe it right onto your palette very conveniently. And once you get it all wound up and used to it, it's a kind of a one-handed thing. You can use it as a tool to pipe directly onto the paint and surface too. So basically, kind of working on my horizon line here, and this is above the horizon line, we're just gonna create a little warm tone here with some yellow and white, and eventually it'll be warmed up a little bit more. And it's an impressionism. This painting is very impressionistic, so I'm not worried about everything, you know, looking perfect. And there's lots of movement in it. So, going to there basically is the the horizon right there and so everything below there is ground and everything above that is going to be the sky and basically kind of creating that impressionistic background behind the trees where it gets a little darker all this area will be mostly covered eventually with some of the foreground work but you know it's just like showing the depth from you know dark to light all my colors, a lot of times I work with um, a minimal palette color and mix my own colors as I go. When, you know, I was teaching myself how to paint, I had just come out of the restaurant business and I started to really identify uh, taste, the, like blending taste is the same as blending color. And it took me a while to figure it out, but you know, eventually you will get to the point where blending colors become second nature. I, um, even in the paint company here, we don't sell a giant range of colors because I like to kind of mix my colors on the palette there. And I pretty much make almost all of my own greens. And whether, the, you know, especially moving between uh, cool and warm greens. So I'm still kind of working on this impressionistic background. Everything here is on the um, bottom side of the knife. As I'm cutting in the side of the knife there, this is where I know the shoreline is going to be. And it's going to be a little bit darker there, as you can see. You can see me there when I'm tapping on the um, uh, palette. I'm trying to get a, a lot of the paint off. And when I'm brushing this knife on there, I'm just like, you know, running along the side edge of there. It's, you know, it's just catching the edge making these impressionistic tree trunks here and tree branches again this is sometimes i pipe them out of bags the trees a lot but i want this to continue the same stroke pattern as it is below and just you know as i said don't let that knife fall flat in there because those trees would be too fat in the proportion of the size you can see i kind of messed it up a little bit there but again this is a very loose style impressionism and i'm not worried about trying to make this painting a perfect representation. I feel that working in a lot of landscape work like this, um, it gives you a lot of freedom 
to not be perfect, you know, um, especially being with this impressionistic form. So basically now we're going to get into, you know, pulling in some more of that texture, creating, I'm going to try and create a warm yellow orangey color here for the foliage that's going to represent that, you know, fall feel in there. I always start with just the minimal amount of, um, of contrasting color in there to mix so I don't overdo it and get too orange. So always when you're mixing colors, start very lightly before you go all the way because otherwise this, you might have this massively orange pile of paint here. I'm kind of using my knife and like almost like slamming it down and getting the texture to slide off. And you can see there those texture dollops the way they're 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 sliding off and sticking straight up and so I'm just tapping pretty much tapping it pretty hard to get the knife the knife to, uh, to to slam the canvas and pull it straight up that gives this foliage this leafy look on the trees that you know and then also mixing a little green you know so it's not all you got to give it contrast you know you can mix greens and reds or any colors you want and then you can see the red jumping in there and I kind of, you know, gonna bring in a little bit more of that warm orange to give some more contrast there. But sometimes you just kind of get lucky too when you're working with these strokes of the knife and the way they dollop like that and curl over. You know, I'm not necessarily going for a perfect tree uh, form there because again, it's impressionism. So, but I love those little curls there, you know, and those are, you, you can't make them, happen exactly like that you don't know how they're gonna fall so you just kind of hope for the best but a lot of that is just on how the knife is you know stroked and slapped down onto the um, to the panel and I'm going back in with some more of the impressionistic you know tree trunks and branches and everything there I use the the side of the knife there a lot for you know tree you know just like that solid stroke there I'm not going to make a perfect line there, but these are like kind of further back trees there. And I mentioned earlier what I love about working with these bags is you can apply them directly to your painted surface. It makes it really convenient. And this is the, the going to be the water part here. And be really careful with that phthalo blue. It's highly pigmented, and you will, you know, with just a little bit, you can turn that a dark blue. And that's not the contrast I'm going for there. I want it to be, you know, nice complementing blue. And mix a little bit of green and yellow in there to kind of warm it up and blend in but I'm basically just I'm, I'm troweling this knife across almost like a snow plow hovering over the top of the wood panel I'm not like push you know if you push down too far it'll scrape it up but in each direction I'm kind of tilting it up a little bit so it's plowing over the top and you can see you know right there at the line where it meets the tree line you know, pulling a little bit of that green down so it kind of blends in really good together and like a reflective uh, feel to it of the, the foliage that's on the shoreline there. And as I said before, I'm not, this is impressionistic, so that's why I'm kind of moving very fast and loose there and kind of representing a little bit of reflection off the top of the trees there. And I, when I'm dragging that yellow in, I'm just barely hovering over the top it's like it's grabbing it off of the palette knife there. I'm not pushing down too hard because if I push down too hard, it'll it'll all turn green in there. I'm building in a little bit of sharp contrast there, right at the shoreline there. It could be like grasses or, you know, but that kind of um, dark brown in there gives a nice little bit of contrast. And pulling up into the grass, so this could be like very impressionistic grass, you know, growing into the water right there. You know, I could be really taking my time here, um, you know, and trying to make a perfect painting, but I mainly want you to get used to just working with your knife and getting a nice flow right here. If you need to, practice strokes on the palette. So these dollops in here kind of represent lily pads. Again, impressionistic, not trying to look perfect there. And. You know, I'm, I'm just barely dragging over the top because I don't want to turn the whole water green. I don't want to lose my contrast there. I think here was, you know, kind of make a little bit of pink here to kind of represent some, 
lily flowers, the last ones before they stop blooming here in the fall. And this nice, nice warm pink right there. I'm just gonna use the tip of the knife and dollop them in there, kind of like little spiky little flowers in there. You can kind of see them right there, just, just, just tapping in the tip of the knife there. Get some of that contrast and complementing colors dragging on the water there. Try not to work it too much into there because you're going to turn into a muddy, you know, purpley brown color if you try and work it in there. You can see it just kind of dragging over the top there. But there you have it. And this is a very simple impressionistic lakescape here.